Hey, y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge, and here I am with round three, one, two, yeah, round three of my uh, Benchmade competition to figure out which one was my favorite. A um, little bit of uh, cleanup I have to do at the beginning of this one from my last video. Uh, I sat down and started doing the random number stuff with this one. I went, wait a second, something's not right. Um, and the last one, somehow the... Mini Crooked River wound up in the winner's pile. It was not a winner. It went up against the uh, Blackout Bugout, Blackout Bugout 1. But at the end of that one, I declared it a winner, you know, when I was showing all of them. This one was not a winner. Uh, it's a winner of a knife, okay, don't get me wrong. But in the competition, it did not win. So here we are with the winners of that one. And um, so like that round, uh, as you can see, there's an odd number here. So I had to... Um, Figure out which one, uh, you know, use the uh, random number thing. Just list them randomly. Use the random number thing to pick out which one gets to move on without having to compete in this round. And the winner of that was the bailout. Okay, so the bailout gets to move on without having to compete this round. So the, uh, the ones competing this round are going to be the Contigo and the Mini Tie Monolock and the... Blackout, bug out, and the mini volation. Okay, so let's start out with these two. And I got to tell you, from the get go, both of the ones, uh, both of the competitions this round are going to be tough decisions. They really, really are. Um, because now, dag gum. <laughs> uh, I knew this was going to be hard going into it. Okay. Um, so I just, I, that's one thing. Okay. I, now, now that we're this far along, I'm having to start getting really nitpicky about this one. Did you see me just try and open that one and I couldn't get it open? One reason for that is how I tend to like to hold knives with this one. Um, my finger often rests on that lock bar and I just happen to apply enough pressure to where I don't get you know, I don't get it to open like it should. So I have to consciously remember to move my finger off of that lock bar to get this one to open right. Okay, so that's that's one downside about this one. One downside about this one is that this one's cut me like three or four times. I don't usually get cut by my knives, but something with this Contigo, it just, it likes to bite. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's a couple of downsides with both of these. Uh, just comparing comparing what we're working with here. I mean, these are two completely, completely different knives. Completely different styles. Completely different purposes. This is just more of a uh, an EDC, but also being made of nicer materials. Got the titanium, uh, titanium handles, Bowler M390 steel. Whereas this one's just G10 with steel liners. It does have M4 steel, which is absolutely a great steel. Um, just, I mean... But, you know, the, the Contigo is just a huge, huge knife, which I'm not complaining about. I love big knives, okay? Um, it has a lot more cutting edge. Um, it has the axis lock, which is wonderful. It's lovely. Um, quite honestly, between the two, this is a factor that I have had used in the previous competitions here. Um... Between the two, which one gets more pocket time? The Contigo absolutely does, but that's because this is my wife's knife. I don't; she doesn't let me carry it very often. Um, I can guarantee, if I had one, it would be in my pocket a lot. Um, so, mm, mm, mm. tough decision. Tough decision. Um, I do like the pocket clip on this one. However, it does. Depending on what kind of pants I'm wearing, it does give some issue sometimes. Uh, if you'll see that blade centering, though, that blade centering is just absolutely perfect. Um, like I said, Bowler M390 steel. Uh, this one's running on uh, bearings in there. Um, oh, man. Decisions, decisions. I knew this was going to be hard going into it, especially in these later rounds. Um, I'm going to have to do it this way. Every other knife that's going on 
is a tactical, you know, is in, in the black class, a tactical knife. Okay, so, uh, Contigo, I was about to say Contigo's got to go, but I just, I just don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, pull the trigger, just do it, Contigo's gone. Um, man, that was a hard one, I'm still contemplating that. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pick this one over. It's just, as far as practicality, okay, this one's a more practical size, um, it's a more practical weight, it's a more, uh, I don't know, I love, love, love this knife, so I'm just gonna have to, uh, like I said, this is a competition for me just uh, seeing which one's my favorite, not not uh, saying, well, this one's better because this materials and stuff. I, it's just personal preference, okay? So personal preference, this one just beats out the Contigo by a hair, okay? So there we go, winner of round one, mini time monolock. And now round two, this one's gonna, this one's where it's gonna be hard again to, um... Because, uh oh, what did I knock over? Um, because I absolutely love both of these knives. Um, this, this one here, the mini Velation, gets pocket time when I'm on duty and when I'm off duty. Um, the bug out. I don't carry the bug out at work. Um, I, I, this one's one that I only carry when I'm off duty. And man, does it get carried. I carry the bug out so much. Um, they're both the same steel. Alright, so they're both S30V. They both have... Like, the same size cutting edge. Okay. Um, the blade stock on the mini Velation is thicker. Uh, it comes down to a thicker tip. Uh, they both have deep carry. Let me close these before I wind up cutting myself over here. Um, that's one thing. That's one thing to keep in mind. Although I do like the assisted open with these, especially in a tactical sense, um, I would say outside of that, though, I prefer the one-handed open, you know, easy one-handed open and close with these. Um, not that this is difficult. It's just a little awkward. Um, where was I getting to? Oh, they both have deep carry pocket clips. One has the mini, one has the regular. Um, one feature that the bug out has that the uh, mini Velation doesn't that I do kind of, uh, Kind of like on knives, it's not like it's a deal breaker at all if the knife doesn't have one, okay? I do like lanyard holes, holes so I can get just a little G10, or not G10, little paracord lanyard on it. Give me a little something extra to grab onto, especially when it's a deep carry knife, a deep carry pocket clip, okay? Um, this one does have a glass breaker, which again, uh, tactical purposes only, okay? Or, or you know, rescue, rescue. So, uh, you know, as as far as outside of my line of work, would I see myself ever really using that? No. But man, I have used uh, glass breakers on my knives in the past several times. Okay, so um, this one is built like a tank. Okay, one thing that I know people complain about with the bug outs is, look at that flex in the plastic. Look at that. Why does it do that? Well, to me, that's a feature. Okay, I mean. You don't want, when, when your plastic's this thin, you don't want a rigid plastic because then you're going to risk cracking it, breaking it, something like that when you put the knife to hard use as fair as as opposed to one that has some flex and some give to it, okay? This one, however, if you can squeeze it and make it flex in any way, you you need to join the Avengers, okay? I mean, um, this one is just a thick, this is a thick boy, <laughs> Um, it's built like a tank. It's sturdy. <sighs> Man. Um. It's a tough one, guys. This one's really a tough one. 
Really, really, really. I got to think. Let me go back and think about, because I've done reviews on both of these knives. Uh, not this particular bug out, but um, my other bug out, which I think I still have sitting around here somewhere. Yeah, I've done a review on this bug out, and the only complaint I had about it was the serrated edge. And that's just, you know, that's not the knife's fault. All right, this one was a gift from my wife, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I just wish she hadn't uh, got the serrated edge, okay? So that's that was my only complaint about it. So as far as this bug out goes, I have zero complaints about it. In my review for this one, there I, I had two complaints. Uh, the pivot screw is not accessible without taking the scale off. And not that this really matters to me because I don't keep the safety on, but when the safety's on, that blade can still come out past the edge or the tip can still come out past the edge. Okay, um, so <sighs> many volations got to go. Blackout bug out moves on. All right, so here are. Uh, see, I did it again. I did it again with that one. If you were paying attention, winners from this round are the bug out mini time monolock and bailout. Bailout moved on by default through the random number selection. Um, so, this is going to be our next round. I'm going to have to do like I did before and just, uh, random number generator is going to pick one to automatically move on and then put the two up against each other. Guys, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out my Instagram and my Twitter, and y'all have a good one.